Now, the next mastery we're going to do is Bucket. Bucket is a little bit of a weird one because his have to be done in Hunter Rescue. Kind of. I would completely ignore his sentry guns and guided missile launcher for your first match. What you are going to do is you're going to jump back into refueling tower, make sure you set it to hunt. You're going to go ahead, jump in, quite easy to do. Again, keep all the same stats you had before, all the same setup, but it doesn't matter if you have the radioactive clouds because you're obviously not shielding anyone. Now, Bucket's kit is his UAV, which can fly around. That is the mastery that has to be done in Hunter Rescue. I would always recommend doing it in Hunt. Sometimes it's easier to predict where the monster's going in Rescue because he will always run to your survivors, but he doesn't always stay at Stage 1. Bucket's Elite Mastery is to mark the monster 15 times in Hunt or Rescue at Stage 1. It's easier to do it in Hunt because you can get a better feel of where they're going and it's always easier to do it that way. Now, here we go. As you can see, we now have Bucket. Bucket is a robot. He's fantastic. Like before, you're going to want to pick Reload Speed. That's very important for this character, because otherwise it's going to take you a while to do his UAV, which is the entire reason we're going into this match. The UAV is better than everything else to do first. The reason why is because normally it only takes six launches of the UAV and flying around to finish it. I know you guys find this all fascinating and all this conversating, but really, Daisy needs Beth, but you guys are going to hear any of this because I'm going to cut it all out. Maybe. I might not. You can probably enjoy hearing my rambling. I ramble a lot. Uh. Oh, by the way, here's a little Easter egg for you guys. If you turn your camera all the way to the right, and when he jumps, you can see a little cupcake in the pod there. Awesome, right? Alright, now, here we go. Back on the ground. Pull off your head. Of course, it is your flying head, which, you know, bucket. It's fantastic. Now, what you're going to do is just fly. Fly your head. Go. Have fun. Be free. You will only require three of these to do this. Now, in between, when you're recharging your UAV, I'd recommend going and coming down here. Down here, you will always find A, an Armadon, and usually right in the water here, you'll find a Tyrant, which there doesn't appear to be one right now, probably because of that Armadon. But you can kill those with your guided missile launcher, make your masteries a little bit easier. You probably won't finish it. It takes a little bit of damage, and a guided missile launcher isn't exactly the most powerful weapon there's ever been. But it's pretty fun to use, and it's a good weapon. Alright, now I'm kind of running out of battery here. You don't need to go find the monster. In fact, I would really recommend you ignore that he exists, as I'm doing. I bumped into a tree. Also, there's usually a tyrant in this pool, which there also does not appear to be right now. Alright, so my UAV has crashed. So now, as you can see, that's starting to recharge. And actually recharging pretty quickly, all considering. But you don't have to stay in the same place. Ah, now there's a tyrant. What are you going to do? Shoot him. Shoot him until you kill him. If you stay back a little bit, your other hunters won't attack him. And he won't come anywhere near you. He'll just stay there with his tongue out, being, you know, menacing. And as you can see, he's kind of running around in circles, and your hunters have decided to do something about it. I don't know why they just decided, and Markov is now just standing there, because that's a good place to stand. Oh dear, now there goes Markov. Fantastic. And the tyrant is dead, and if, you're and if a tyrant grabs Markov just like that, you get to the Death of Tyranny achievement, which is to free a hunter from a tyrant. That's a pretty easy achievement that you can do in just about any map in the game, because there are tyrants everywhere. Now, we're going to come down to where that Armadon was. Except first, your UAV is recharged. Now you're going to fly. Oh dear, someone just got grabbed. Is there a... Oh yeah. See, there's a second Armadon. That's why this area is really good. And as you can see, the monster just flew, just kind of ran by here as well. And there's my UAV hitting 75%. This will only take three UAVs if you did this normally. If you did this normally, it takes six. Which again, really not that bad. In fact, you could really do this in, again, probably a couple minutes, as opposed to Hank's, which you can finish in 20 seconds. Hey, look, I found the Goliath. Isn't he so fun? He just doesn't even realize I'm here, like, flying right next to him. And there's a Krobo Sloth, which I think he's going to try and pick a fight with. 
Or he's going to run past it. Hey, there he is. You can see him right there. He's running away. Isn't he a big cute monster? He's so cute. I just want to pet him because he looks like a big cat monkey. I wonder what a cat monkey would look like. It'd be weird to have a cat monkey with, with like spikes on it though that could breathe fire. I don't think I would want that. Now here we go. We're we're back. We're we're back to, to doing the other masteries while your UAV recharges. As you can see, the UAV recharges extremely quickly, and this armadon is dead. So go ahead and take the perk, because why not? Just in case the monster decides to he wants to fight you. Because they do that sometimes. Hey, and look, my UAV is recharged again in just the amount of time that took. And we're flying away again. Again, you mostly just want to keep moving. The furthest you can go with the UAV without stopping will mean you get your mastery faster. Because all it wants you to do is travel a certain distance. Right now, that's 3,500 meters, which, uh, not that bad. You travel about 700 per, which, really good, all considering. You can't put down waypoints, so you don't know exactly how far you're going. And as you can see, I just finished my UAV. So go ahead and crash your head. And we're going to go find that crowbar sloth that we saw the monster walk by earlier. We're going to kill it to finish off this match. Because I don't really want to fight the Goliath. And in fact, I'm going to show you guys a much, much easier way to deal with him. And conversely, your other abilities. So we're just flying away right now. And you can see your little turbine hand there, which is awesome. And now you're going to fight this Krobo Sloth. It is quite majestic. And it hurts a lot if it hits you. Even on Favors Hunters, which you know I'm on from my Hank video or, well, the Hank segment from earlier. But after you hit it a little bit, the Krobal Sloth wants to run away and die, as he has just done. As you can see, this did not finish my mastery. Again, this is not the strongest weapon there has ever been. But, as you can see, I'm at 75%. So, you know. Alright, guys. So, now that you have gotten through the UAV, which is kind of the hardest part of his kit, you're going to go ahead and pick Defend and pick Salveron Industries. This will be the map that I will use for 90% of my Hunter Masteries. Mainly because this map is so easy. You get really good sight lines. The map is small enough in that first area to deal with the monsters very, very easily. And you see that little alcove where the generator is? As you can see in the picture right there. You could pop down turrets and arc mines right there. And it goes so easy. Gonna go ahead and pick Hunter. As you know. Alright guys, here we are in Defend. Now... You're going to start off just like this. Run to this side of the generator. Go one, two, three. I'm going to jetpack up here. Four and five. This means that no matter where the minions come from, you are going to have coverage with those turrets. That means you're going to finish that mastery extremely quickly. As you can see, they're right over there. Let them do their business. They will handle most of it for you, because they're going to run right up to your turrets and make your life easy. While they're going, you deal with that Mega Mouth that's down there. Sometimes Mega Mouth doesn't spawn, but there is plenty of wildlife down here for you to deal with. There's Canyon Striders, there's m not Mammoth Birds, there's Dune Beetles down in the monster area, which we will be handling in other masteries. Right now, you're just going to keep going with this. This guy is super slow, super... Oh god, I just knocked myself down to him. Super slow, super easy, as I said. As you can see, I kind of got away from him rather fast. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I fell down again. Oh, no. I'm falling down there. Remember, you are also the support. And as you can see, he's dead. As you can see, your turrets are still here, just hanging out, doing their thing. They've killed both minions already and destroyed a few of your turrets. So if you need to, just go ahead and pop down a few more. Again, your turrets are extremely useful. Do not be afraid to put them down again if they get destroyed. This is not a defend guide, keeping that in mind. This is a mastery guide. I will not give you tips for defend until maybe later. Which, that's not this video. Otherwise, here comes the Kraken. Now, because the Kraken is stage 3, it means you can beat him up and not worry about him running away. For a while. And he's also going to run over and get a sh shot to death by your turrets. So again, ignore, ignore the minions. The turrets will handle the minions, and they will boost themselves, which is great. You are going to want to guide these rockets into the Kraken until you get 100% like I did just there. Which, you know, 
Great. Meanwhile, your turrets are going to keep going on the minions until they die, which I'm just going to watch this happen. Of course, they're breaking them a little bit, too, which means I'm just going to put down a few more. And now that the Kraken is right here, too, you can watch your turrets deal with him, although I may have missed the 100% message because this should have been done a little bit ago, which that's, you know, that's whatever it wants to be. Although I may have missed the 75% message because that should have been at 75%. Oh, there's 75% message. Okay, we're not done yet. I'm just going to watch the turrets shoot at the Kraken for a little bit. Or just watch him for a little bit. I'm going to go up here and help him. Now, I'm going to show you a useful tip and defend. Switch to the Trapper. Even if you're not gaining mastery on Bucket because you're not him at that moment, now that you have the Trapper switched to, you can throw the mobile arena and trap the monster inside. Welcome to the easiest way to do masteries. You can now put down as many turrets as you want in here, and they will play with him. And he can't get away, and he's level 3 and can soak up a lot of damage. So just, Joe, just go to town and keep throwing down turrets. This is a strategy we will be using a lot, believe me. But this is also the fastest way to do this, as long as you place your turrets in a good place. As I have not done, because he is clearly attacking me. I'm going to cloak so he stops wanting to kill me. Oh god, Val, go away. No, leave me alone. She's not leaving me alone. I, I hate it. More turrets are down now. So the turrets are, again, doing their job as they are supposed to. This is an extremely fast way to do this. Keeping in mind, you can also do this in Nest, as they will attack eggs. Just let your turrets do their thing, and eventually they will hit 100%. Obviously, the minions right there just took down my generator, which I do not like. I'm going to put down a few more turrets since the Kraken is right here. He's going to run right into those three again. And there you go. Sentry guns are finished, thus finishing off Bucket skill tier and unlocking the leader of the team, Cabot. Now, you have all the support characters. And as you can see, just like that, we have Bucket. All finished, ready to go to Expert, and time to start Cabot.